Hey guys, it's Rendon with TJ Free. We're just getting set up in the new video studio. And in this video, we're gonna be building a new video editing and media computer for the studio. Uh, this is going to, of course, be an open source and free software build. So we're gonna be using a Linux operating system, which in this case is Linux Mint. And we're gonna be using all free and open source media uh, editing software for video, uh, audio, music, uh, photo editing, things like that. So I'm gonna make this a, this a couple different um, videos. In this first video, we're just gonna be putting together the computer, just a quick computer build. In the next video, I'll show downloading and installing the operating system, Linux Mint. The video after that, I'll go through and show you what I do when I have a fresh install of Linux Mint, some tweaks that I make, we'll make it look nice and pretty, and we'll also install a bunch of different software, so all the different free programs for video editing, um, for editing pictures, for doing all kinds of creative, um, just creating digital artwork and media. We're gonna show how to install all that software and the software that I personally use. After that, we'll show some different ways for setting up the browser, but hopefully you find this informative. In this first video, we're just gonna dive in and put together all these parts. And I just wanna quickly show you the different parts that we have. So some of these parts are used and some of them are new. Everything over here is new, except for I'm repurposing a 240 gig solid state drive. And then also this case, and there's a power supply in there. It's a 760 watt power supply. This is repurposed from an older build, as well as this graphics card. This is a GTX 1080 Ti. It's from Zotac, and this is, used to be part of an old cryptocurrency mining rig that I had running, and um, I've kind of repurposed these cards to be the cards that power this, uh, all the computers in the video studio. But then we just have some, some uh, this is Warhawk RAM. A, a lot of this stuff I just bought whatever was a, a good price. Uh, this is 32 gig of RAM, so two 16 gig sticks. Uh, we're using an i5-9600KF, so it's an Intel processor. We've got a cooling fan for the processor. Uh, these are just some Audio-Technica headphones. These are the, uh, are these the 20s? Yeah, so the M20X. I use the M20s and the M30s in the studio. So this will be matching just so everything sounds the same and feels the same. Uh, and then we're using the Z730 uh, motherboard. That's the same socket, the 1151 for the i5 processor. And then for our main hard drive for the system, we're using this uh, NVMe. So this is a one terabyte hard drive and it's just a solid state drive. And then I'm gonna use this 240 gig as sort of like a scratch disk or a secondary hard drive um, for storing and working with media, probably for caching, um, or maybe I'll do some caching on this. This is a, a one terabyte drive. So let's get to work putting all these parts together. We'll turn the computer on, make sure it boots up. We see lights happening, we see some activity here on this particular motherboard. What I like about this board too is there is a power switch right on the board and a reset switch, which is kind of cool, that can be handy. And we see everything um, comes up. This is the BIOS of the motherboard. So if we, a lot of times when you're building a computer, you'll get a, just a black screen, not a lot of times, but if you do something wrong, the screen will be completely blank. And then you'll have to go through and figure out is it my graphics card or is the memory not installed correctly? But if you get this screen, it means we're good to go. We can see our RAM here. So we have 32 gig of RAM total, two 16 gig sticks. Um, we can look and see, make sure that the hard drive is installed uh, correctly and being recognized by the computer, which it is. So in the next video, we're going to go over to the other computer. We're gonna download Linux Mint and install it on a USB drive like this, or this exact one. We're gonna I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll come back over, plug it into a USB port on the computer, and we'll start installing Linux Mint on this freshly built computer. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments about this build process or any of the components, um, feel free to leave them below, and we'll see you in the next video.